Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's W, your friendly neighborhood news source, and boy, do I have a treat for you today. We're diving headfirst into the top 10 things happening in and around Houston, Texas. Everything from high school football showdowns to international soccer matches, stock market surges to brand new music. We've got it all. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's get this show on the road. All right, folks, first up, we're heading to the gridiron. It's Friday Night Lights, baby, and the Anahuac Panthers are gearing up to face off against the Kirbyville Wildcats. The excitement is palpable, and the energy in the stadium is electric. This is a rivalry for the ages, folks, a real clash of titans. Both teams have a storied history, and every game between them is a battle to remember. The Panthers are looking to bounce back after last week's tough loss, and they're going to need all the home field advantage they can get. The fans are ready to rally behind their team, hoping to turn the tide in their favor. The Wildcats, on the other hand, are coming in hot off a string of victories. Their confidence is sky high and they're determined to keep their winning streak alive. They're hungry for another win and they're not gonna make it easy for the Panthers. Every player is laser focused and the intensity is through the roof. I'm hearing whispers of some trick plays the Panthers might be cooking up. The coaches have been working tirelessly and they might just have a few surprises up their sleeves. Could this be the secret weapon they need to take down the Wildcats? The anticipation is building and everyone is on the edge of their seats. We'll just have to wait and see. The game is about to begin and anything can happen on that field. Who will emerge victorious? Only time will tell. The final whistle will reveal all. Let me know in the comments who you think will win. Your predictions could be spot on or way off. Are you Team Panther or Team Wildcat? Show your support and let your voice be heard. Okay, soccer fans, listen up. The Carabao Cup fourth round draw is out and let me tell you, it's a doozy. We've got some serious matchups on our hands, folks. David versus Goliath, underdogs versus champions, it's all here. Some of these pairings are just insane. I mean, who saw that coming? I'm already picturing the upsets, the last minute goals, the penalty shootouts. It's gonna be pure chaos and I am here for it. The unexpected, the thrilling, the downright unbelievable. So who are you rooting for? Let me know in the comments. Are you backing the underdog or are you sticking with the tried and true champions? Get your scarves ready, practice your chance and prepare for some serious soccer action. All right, finance fanatics, let's talk Micron. Their stock is on fire, folks, absolutely skyrocketing. Their first quarter revenue forecast blew past all expectations, and the market is reacting in a big way. This is huge news for the tech sector, folks. Micron's success is a sign of good things to come. It's a vote of confidence in the industry, and it's got investors buzzing. What does this mean for you? Well, if you're holding Micron stock, congratulations. You're probably feeling pretty good right now, and if you're not, well, maybe it's time to reconsider. This is a company to watch, folks. They're making big moves and they're not showing any signs of slowing down. Micron is a force to be reckoned with, and they're just getting started, so keep your eyes on Micron, folks. This is a story that's still unfolding. Barca fans assemble. We've got some big news coming out of Camp Nou. FC Barcelona has just announced their lineup for the Getafe match, and there are some surprises. Four changes, folks, four. What does it all mean? Is Xavi trying to keep things fresh? Is he resting key players for a bigger match down the line? Or is he just trying to keep us all on our toes? Will these changes pay off? Will Barcelona continue their winning streak? Or will Getafe pull off a stunning upset? Only time will tell. Let's go, Barca. Who do you think will win this match? Let me know in the comments below. We have some serious news to discuss, folks. This is a story that has captured the attention of many and has significant implications for our community. Former Houston police officer Gerald Goines has been found guilty of felony murder in connection with the Harding Street deaths. This verdict marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing struggle for justice and accountability within our law enforcement agencies. This is a landmark case, folks, one that has gripped the city of Houston and sparked a national conversation about police accountability. The community has rallied together, demanding transparency and justice, and today, their voices have been heard. The verdict comes after weeks of testimony, and it sends a powerful message. The courtroom was filled with tension and anticipation as the judge delivered the final decision. Justice has been served, and the families of the victims can finally begin to heal. The emotional reactions in the courtroom were palpable, 
as loved ones embraced and shed tears of relief. This case has been a long and difficult journey, filled with twists and turns. The Harding Street Raid has been a focal point of media coverage, highlighting the complexities and challenges faced by those seeking justice. But today, we have reached a resolution. The courthouse steps were crowded with people, all eager to hear the outcome of this significant trial. And while the pain of the loss will undoubtedly linger, there is a sense of closure, a sense that justice has prevailed. Memorials for the victims serve as a poignant reminder of the lives lost and the importance of this verdict. This is a moment for reflection, folks. It's a time to consider the broader implications of this case and what it means for our society as a whole. The impact of this verdict will be felt far and wide, folks. It's a reminder that no one is above the law. This case has set a precedent, reinforcing the principle that justice must be served, regardless of one's position or power. Wow, what a game, folks. Liverpool just pulled off an incredible comeback against West Ham in the Carabao Cup. They were down, but they never gave up. Jota and Gakpo take a bow. Those goals were absolute magic. It was a nail-biter right down to the wire, folks. West Ham put up a good fight, but Liverpool's determination was unstoppable. They fought tooth and nail, and they earned that victory. This is what football is all about, folks. The passion, the drama, the never-say-die attitude. Liverpool showed us what they're made of, and they gave us a game we'll never forget. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time, folks, so congratulations to Liverpool on their stunning comeback. They showed us what true grit and determination can achieve, and to West Ham, hats off to you for a hard-fought battle. Well, folks, it wasn't the result Manchester United fans were hoping for. The atmosphere in the stadium was electric, but it quickly turned to frustration and disappointment. They faced a disappointing draw against 20, and Christian Eriksen went from hero to zero in this one. The match was intense, with both teams fighting hard, but United just couldn't break through. It was a tough match, and United just couldn't seem to find their footing. The players struggled to maintain possession and create clear chances, which left fans on the edge of their seats. Eriksen, who has been a key player for United this season, had a rough night. His usual precision and creativity were missing, and it was evident that he was not at his best. He made some uncharacteristic errors, and it cost the team dearly. His misplaced passes and missed opportunities were a stark contrast to his usual performances. It just goes to show you, even the best players have their off days. It's a reminder that football is unpredictable and anything can happen on the pitch. But hey, that's football, right? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you draw. It's all part of the game. And it's what makes it so exciting and unpredictable. It's all part of the game. The highs and lows, the victories and the setbacks, they all contribute to the drama and passion of football. United will bounce back, they always do. The team has a history of resilience and determination, and this setback will only make them stronger. They've got a talented squad, and they'll learn from this experience. The manager and coaching staff will analyze the game and work on the areas that need improvement. So, chin up, United fans. This is just one game in a long season, and there will be plenty of opportunities to celebrate in the future. It's not the end of the world. The support from the fans is unwavering, and the team will be motivated to make them proud. There are still plenty of games left to play and plenty of opportunities to prove themselves. The league is a marathon, not a sprint and every game is a chance to improve. What do you think went wrong for Manchester United in this match? Let me know in the comments below. Your insights and opinions are always welcome, and it's great to hear from fellow fans. Get excited, folks. Shea Whitcomb is in the lineup. This is big news, people. Whitcomb is a rising star, and he's ready to make his mark. He's got the talent, he's got the drive, and he's ready to shine. This is a huge opportunity for Whitcomb, and he's not going to waste it. He's been working hard, honing his skills, and waiting for his chance. And now, that chance has arrived. I'm excited to see what he can do, folks. He's got the potential to be a game changer, and I think he's gonna make a big impact. So, get ready for some fireworks, folks. Shea Whitcomb is in the lineup, and he's ready to explode onto the scene. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Shea Whitcomb. All right, music lovers, this one's for you. We've got a musical showdown brewing, folks, and it's a doozy. Someone sped up a Dolly Parton song and it sounds surprisingly like Hozier. I know, right? Crazy. So we're putting it to the test, folks. We want you to listen to both versions and tell us what you think. Is it a match made in heaven? Or is it just a coincidence? You be the judge. 
a little musical experiment to brighten your day. So crank up the volume, put on your dancing shoes, and let the music take over. Dolly Parton and Hozier, 